All right, so now that I've installed FermanTrack, it's time to get it set up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to navigate to the URL that I was given at the end of the installation. Uh, that's gonna take me into the guided configuration. Uh, then I'm going to click this button to begin the guided configuration, and it's gonna ask me to create a user for FermanTrack. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter my user info. And once I've entered my user info, I'm gonna click Create New User Account. It's gonna automatically log me into this account and then it's going to take me to the app configuration page. So these are the settings that are going to be used for my installation of FermanTrack. Um, brewery name is just whatever I want to call my, my installation of FermanTrack. It's going to actually be displayed up here. Date time format display is the way that the date and the time are going to be displayed in the graph on device dashboards. Require login for dashboard determines whether or not I require users to be logged in in order to view device dashboards. And temperature format is the default temperature format that is going to be used for devices that are connected. Now note, this can be overridden on a device by device basis, um, but uh, you enter the one that you think you will be using most, uh, most frequently. Once you have everything configured, um, you can click Save Configuration. And if you have any questions about what it is that's going on, uh, you can mouse over the names for each of these fields and it'll tell you what it is that's happening. So I'm going to hit Save Configuration, and now the app is configured. If I need to reconfigure any of those fields, I can do so by clicking this gear icon in the upper right hand corner.